Welcome back to Small Caps, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kerry Stevenson, and today I'm speaking with Mark Cossum. He's the Managing Director of Gateway Mining. I'm excited. It's the first time I've had a chance to talk to Mark, and they've got the Gigi Gold Project over there in Western Australia. Had a fantastic year in 2021 with an increase of their resource by 87%. So about 450,000 ounces, about an average average grade of about 1.7. But what I want you all to understand is that what they're doing at the moment is they're unlocking a whole district. I want Mark to explain where they are, what they're doing, but it's a very interesting story and I'm happy that you've come on to Small Caps. Mark, great to see you. Thanks for joining me this morning. Thanks, Kerry. Thanks for this opportunity. It's uh, I've been looking forward to it. Great. Well, first time you and I have chatted, so let's explain to our audience who are Gateway Mining and where you are. I've given a little bit of an indication, but uh, as Managing Director, I'll allow you to tell the story. Yeah, thanks, Kerry. Well, you know, Gateway, we're a, a WA-focused gold explorer. I've uh, been around for a little while, but really since 2018, the company's been focused completely on the Gigi Gold Project, as, as you mentioned before, which is about 800 kilometres north of Perth in the Murchison Gold Fields of WA. We've put together a, a package up there of about 1,000 square kilometres. So this is a significant package of ground over the Gum Creek Greenstone Belt, a historically producing belt that for various reasons, you know, over the last sort of 20 years or so has, has really not been explored. And there's a couple of cycles of the gold price in there that this project's just been sitting there not having the attention it deserves. And we've now put this, put this ground together. Um, we've got, got the, uh, the company focused on it. We've got the, the, the cash in the bank and we're exploring it pretty aggressively. And we're sort of showing and have shown over the last year or so that there's a lot of gold to be found up there. Um, and, uh, you know, we really have a great opportunity here to, to, um, to realise a lot of value from this project for our shareholders. Why do you think that it has been overlooked, um, as you said, for the past 20 years? Because I always think, really, why hasn't somebody else picked it up? And you're a geologist by background. What are you seeing that this is so exciting potential going forward? Yeah, look, it's a, it's a funny one. You know, there's just these, I don't know, over the course of my career, you sort of see these various areas that, um, you know, they're not, they're not fashionable to explore and everyone's got better places to be and better ideas to go for. And, and, and what you see in gold, at least what I've seen over the last 25 years, is that um, you go in circles and you end up coming back to those, those, you know, tried and true areas and people find new deposits in those areas. And, and we've seen that particularly over the last sort of five years or so. And, you know, the, the gold fields in WA still have plenty to give up. And, you know, the, the belt itself, there was mining on our ground between 1988 and 1993 with five pits mined there by Herald Resources. Um, there was mining next door at the old Gum Creek project, um, you know, which uh, Horizon Minerals have got. But, but really, this whole belt here, you know, just wasn't one of those areas where, they, where everyone just sort of, they just sort of forgot about it over time. And um, the operation shut down and, and, and no one, for various corporate reasons, you know, no one was sort of motivated to explore it and it sat there. And then, you know, the last sort of five, seven, eight years or so, it's sort of been rediscovered and all of a sudden, you know, we're finding gold, we're doing exploration and from, a, you know, a rock's point of view, from a, a um, location point of view, it's, uh, it's got all the, all the hallmarks and, and we've been able to show that, show that there's plenty to be found there. And I suppose, you know, from, from a geologist's point of view, and, and one thing to, to sort of show you, Kerry, I might just share my screen here. Hang on a tick. Um, let's see that. Hope you can see that. So, yeah, um, this, I can. This is a map. So where we are is, is in orange there. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, the big thing to show here is, you know, we've got a, we've got a huge land package, 1,000 square k's covering that Gum Creek Greenstone Belt. But if you look around us, you know, there's, there's major operations all around us within that sort of 100, 150 k's on these other belts in the Murchison. And, um, you know, we've got all the hallmarks where we are. We've got a, a really, really dominant land position there. We've, we've shown that there's gold there. And so there's huge upside for us. You know, we just got to put, put the holes in the ground and, and, and uh, you know, really do the work to, to realise that value. But this whole district, you know, there's a lot going on and, and there's, a, there's a, lot of, a lot of upside for us. Yeah, so, so you've, got, you've got people like West Gold and Romelius there. Those are big companies that have got a, a good resource and you're slap bang in the middle. How much drilling have you done today? Because last year you increased the, res, uh, the resource by 87%. Yep. Um, how much drilling have you done? Because there's the Gigi Gold project. You've got uh, Horizon Gold through the middle. So you're kind of sur surrounding them on either side and down below. Where's your current drilling? And where do you? How much have you been doing? Because that yeah, kilometres is big. Yeah, no, it's a big, big area. And um, I suppose it's important to note that 
you know, the, the majority of our drilling that we've been doing to date and, and really over the last sort of couple of years, we've probably put about, uh, oh, about 60, 70,000 metres of drilling, um, various kinds into, into the area. But, but most of it's been focused on, on what we call the Montague area, which is, you know, where that, that little, uh, little uh, mining, pick, mining picks are there, with the Gigi Gold Project label. Um, that's where, you know, the majority of our drilling has been to date. But the, the reality is that the rest of that belt, we're exploring it. Um, there's a lot of early stage, simple exploration still to be done particularly on that western side of the belt where really there hasn't been any exploration conducted at all. There's a lot of, um, lot of old-time workings there. There's a lot of gold being pulled out of the ground through there still by, by, by prospectors and the like, but uh, no one's explored it at all really. Um, so we're doing very basic exploration there, really grassroots stuff that everyone thought has been done to death in WA, but it's, it's still to be done on our ground. But, but around that Montague area there, you know, we're, we're planning this year, we're doing about 60,000 metres of drilling there. Um, We've demonstrated over the last 12 months or so that you know, not only can we extend the resources some, some, under some of these old pits that were mined in the late 80s, uh, but we've been able to find new deposits around that area too, and they're close to surface. You know, we're, Our Achilles deposit you know, basically starts at surface, starts from three metres below surface. Our, wow. Our new Julia's discovery, which we're drilling right now, um, you know, that, that average depth of that mineralisation is about 25 metres below surface. So, so this, is, uh, this is really easy pickings uh, from a... From a mining point of view, and uh, you know, when you go to look at um, the economic value of these things, you know, when they're shallow oxide deposits, um, you know, there's a lot of value there to be had. Yeah, ex- explain that a little bit, uh, Mark, because we will have investors on here. Who will go, well, does it matter whether it's deep or shallow? Economically, it's better if it's shallow because it's not going to. It's it's the cost of unlocking it, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. You know, from a number of different areas when you when you go to mine it, but you know the the. The, the ease of exploitation, if you like, is is so much greater when when it's close to surface and it's oxide. So, you know, being close to surface, you can mine by open cut methods, which is obviously a lot of a hell of a lot cheaper than, than underground methods. Um, but not only that, when it's in the oxide zone, uh, the mining of the digging of it by the excavators, you know, it's a lot easier. You don't have to use as much blasting. You can uh, you can work your way through a lot quicker. It's a lot cheaper to mine. And then when you go to process the, the mineralization, uh, when it's nice soft soft dirt you know going through the processing plant you don't need to crush it as much so it's cheaper to to process it tends to be extracted by cyanide a lot easier you get better recoveries generally in oxide dirt so the whole process is a lot cheaper and, and having these oxide ounces which you know we have here at um at Gigi, uh they're, they're hugely valuable because a lot of these older operations and particularly the ones in the area you know these oxide resources have been mined out they were mined out 20 years ago 25 30 years ago so so strategically this is a this is great to have these these types of deposits available to us. And around that, uh, the the whole of that area, is it all oxide or is that what you're looking at and all shallow? Are you going to drill a bit deeper in 22? Yeah, look, so we're not completely just focused on the oxide. Obviously, that's the, the easier stuff to yeah. get hold of and you tend to find that first because it's closer to surface. But we're definitely looking um, at the, uh, the the whole system, if you like, and, and what happens at depth as well. So you know, we we want to find these easy easy deposits near surface, and they're they're great, and it's cheap to find, it's cheap to mine, so they have a lot of value. But we also want to make sure we unlock the whole whole project as well. So we are looking at you know what happens at depth, how these things relate to each other, because you know our, our view is that you know they're all related, and it's all part of one you know bigger gold system um, in this area, and and really you know we've got a great opportunity to to unlock that, to put the drill holes into it and, and, and show for our shareholders, you know, what, what, what value there is. Okay, so moving on from, from the location area, let's talk about some of the things that you're going to be doing in 2022. So lots of drilling. Now, you talked just a moment ago about a new discovery, uh, Julia's discovery. Yep. How much drilling have you done? Is news cut flow coming out for that? I'm, I, I want to get a picture of, I guess... The, um, the value for shareholders and obviously our audience out there for gateway mining going forward into 2022? Yeah, look, uh, we, we started drilling at Julia's. So, so we put some results out late last year uh, from Julia's. We, we'd done some, some air core work and some RC drilling at Julia's and showed some really strong results close to surface. So we've, we're following that up pretty aggressively this year. Uh, we're, we're right in the middle of the moment of a, uh, about a 22,000 metre drill drill campaign so it's about 16,000 meters of air core which we 
actually just completed yesterday. Um, so those those samples are all in the lab. Um, you know, there's been various talk about lab turnaround times and the like in WA, but but you know the the, the upside is that you know basically those the first lot of those results are, are not far away. So we'll start to get news flow from that air core drilling, and then we're following that up next week. The RC rigs turning up, and really the focus of that RC drilling is going to be putting the holes into Julia's the main Julia's discovery um, to be able to enable us to calculate a, an initial. Uh, mineral resource, which we're we're hoping to have done in the third quarter of this year, um, which will add to our existing 449,000 ounces that we've got. Um, and then, you know, really we're aiming to follow that up. The, the air core drilling we've just been doing is is along uh, the strike extents of Julius. We could see where the mineralisation was open. We've been drilling it along strike. There's a there's a corridor there of probably about 1.8 kilometres where this mineralisation is, is 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 evident. So we've been doing the air core drilling, and we're we're pretty confident that we'll be able to open up that whole Julia's trend um, over, you know, plus one kilometre and um, and show that there's a considerable amount of gold there. Yep. Do you think that the market does uh, has been looking at you as a sort of a, a, a not a one-trick pony, that sounds horrible, but you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, the Gigi Gold Project, is, it's, it's going in under the old mind. Do you think they haven't realised that what you're doing here, Mark, is unlocking a whole district? And, and that sort of the value, I guess, is in these new discoveries that you're finding now we're talking julia but there have been some others that like evermore and achilles as well yeah yes it's a good point that um i think there is this sort of there was this idea that you know what, all we had was was the, the the mineralization under a couple of the old pits that the first resources we had were at montague and at whistler were you know around the old pits and and they were great and they're good resources still they're still not deep resources um and uh, there's still work to be done there because they're still open but Really, the value for us, and I think you know, hasn't quite been you know cottoned on to yet. But why we were so excited last year is, is yes, as you mentioned, you know, Evermore, we discovered that that's a that's a greenfields discovery, a long strike from Montague, very similar geology, but you know, we 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 kept exploring um, from the understanding at Montague that we had, and 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 sh and found Evermore showed that the mineralisation was there and away from the old mining areas, these historic areas, um, and. Uh, Achilles as well. Again, that was drilling a long strike of a, a little old pit that was mined called Rosie. Um, near surface, not really difficult stuff. We just kept drilling a long strike and we were able to show that there's significant amount of gold still there um, away from these old mining areas. And, and, and really for us, when we look at the project in, in, as a whole, um, there's, there's a huge amount of area for us to go uh, that hasn't been explored and, and it's, it's, it's really um, simple exploration. So, you know, we, we're really excited about what can be found there. And we've already started to show that there's a lot of new discoveries to be found. Do you think that's where the value, the unlocking the value will be in showing people that this is a district and not just, as I said, uh, one project, it's a whole district, thousand square kilometres is a lot. Have you got enough cash to be able to unlock that value going forward? Yeah, look, um, definitely think that this is this is a district and, and, and we're able, able to show that we're not just found one thing, we're finding gold in, in different areas and different settings. So there's, you know, we're, we really think that's where the value is going to be. And we're going to show, you know, we did a resource upgrade last year. That was a, a, a showing a stepping stone, if you like, showing that we can we can add these resources with the drill bit, which we did. Um, we've got a, plenty of cash now. We've got, you know, $6 million in the bank. We've got about $8 million in, in uh, listed investments. Um, so we've got the resources there keep, to keep drilling and to keep adding to that resource base, um, you know, this year and into next year, um, you know, to get up towards that 800,000 ounce plus mark. Um, okay. that's, that's ultimately our aim, um, you know, so we're going to keep adding these discoveries on, um, showing, you know, through these stepping stones that we can get there. And then, you know, we start looking at, you know, options for economic um, viability of the project from there on in. Well, with that, with that being said, and a lot of news flow coming in, you are surrounded by some others as well. Where's what? What do you think is going to be the news flow that will get people to understand this unlocking? Is it just finding new discoveries? Um, are you going to keep going um, to unlock more around Julia? I guess what I'm looking at is most of your your drilling is at the moment is quite shallow. Yeah. You're going to go yeah. deeper. Do you think that this is a potentially you might find something which is deeper and higher grade? Because I think the average grade is about 1.7 grams per ton. I'm yes. trying to figure out what you're, you think this is. As a geologist, uh, do you yeah. think that this could be big, deep, wide? 
Yeah, look, so from a geological point of view, um, yeah, most of our resources at the moment average about 1.7 grams. But, you know, in that, and it's important to note, you know, in that uh, resource, we've got our indicated resources, about 81,000 ounces at about 3.4 grams. So um, what okay. we've shown is there are high-grade parts of this resource that, that hang together really well. We've got good confidence in them. And um, when we find these high-grade areas, um, you know, we can drill them out and, and, and bring them to account. So there are high-grade parts of the resource there. If you look at Julia's and where we're focused at the moment, um, you know, most of the, the drill intercepts we've had to date have been in the two and a half grams to plus three gram per tonne mark. So again, it's still shallow, but the grades um, grades up there and, and, and increasing on what we found previously. But, you know, really from a, a geological point of view, what I am excited about, if you like, in terms of this, this project is we're just starting to understand how it all comes together and, and so there's there's clearly a big gold system there. You know, we're not just okay. finding little squiggly bits. You know, they, there is a there is a relationship between these different deposits. Um, so as we continue to to drill and develop, we'll start to see that that these things are related, and they do um, they do have a a, 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 a corresponding sort of um, gold signature that we can we can then use to to demonstrate how big this system can be because um, there's plenty of plenty of room to move there and. The geological pieces are all there. We just got to we just got to put them together with um, with drilling and, and and interpreting that drilling. I'm not a geologist. Lots of my audience out there are also not geologists. We're kind of we're investors. We like to have a look at all this. And when when you showed that map before, I don't need to see it again. But just um, West Golds and the Romelius, these are big mines uh, which are which have given shareholder value. Are you along the same sort of structure? Because because it, it was that circle, and I'm like. Are you kind of like the Ferrari sitting in the middle? In other words, is there going to be um, even more upside? I guess I'm trying to figure out what this system might look like because you've got a thousand square kilometres. That's big. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, when you look at those bigger operations, uh, we're not the same structure, but we've got the same rock types. You know, so we're in a, a basically a, a repeat of the same belt, a copy of it that's sitting there in the middle. Um, you mentioned we're sort of in the middle of all these big operations. Um, that's exactly right. You know, these these things off around the west of us, uh, around Kew and Mekathara, and then around the east of us at Waluna. Same packages of rocks. Um, we've got a, a, a copy of it, if you like, in the middle there. Um, and we've got the, the same sort of big structures running through, all the same signatures, but just, the, you know, doesn't have the the, uh, the exploration history, if you like, and the... And the, the um, number of drill holes put into it to, to have that sort of um, uh, immediate gold endowment as what those things do now. So really that's where the, the, the value is. You know, we're, we're, as you mentioned, we're smack bang in the middle of these guys. Um, in WA, which has been able to show that, you know, you just keep finding gold in these gold fields. You know, there's plenty to be found. And, um, you know, we've got this massive land package um, and we've got, uh, you know, importantly, we've got, you know, the, the people on board and we've got the cash to be able to explore it properly. So, you know, there's a there's a real opportunity there to get on at a pretty low pretty low uh, low value for us at the moment, but you know the upside is huge. Yeah, because your market cap I think is about 29, 30 mil, which is quite low for what you're starting to unlock. And I think you potentially you've flown a little bit under the radar because, as I said before, this is not just one project; it's a whole district that you're unlocking, and you're proving that there are new discoveries to be made. So. Make sure you come back and talk to us when you've got the next one and also the results from Julia. But we're running out of time now, Mark. Sadly, where does the time go? Um, I like to finish off all of my conversations with my investor audience want to know what are the three reasons they should be sitting up and taking notice of gateway mining? As I said before, ladies and gentlemen, the ASX code is GML. Why should they be taking notice of you right now, Mark? Well, we touched on this before, Jerry, and that's you know where we are. You know what we you look at that map I showed earlier, and we, we're we're right in the middle, right in the heart of the Murchison Gold District of WA. You know, we're we're smack in the middle of all these you know major operating mines and these mid-tier gold producers that are there. We've got this land package there. We're showing that there's gold there, and the, and the upside is huge. You know, it's just it's just crying out for exploration to to someone to get in there and drill it and and and, and unlock this value, which is what we're doing. You know, and we've been able to show that we can do it. You know, the last 12 months, 18 months, we've, we've found new discoveries. They're close to surface. It's, it's all through, through, through simple discipline exploration. And we've been able to show that we can do it, you know, and, and, and this is not just one. We haven't done it once. You know, we've, we've shown we've done it a few times. We've found multiple deposits. We've got a new one. 
uh, that we're working on now, and then there's others. There's a couple of others behind behind Julia's. Um, you know, so there's a there's a there's a there's a production line, if you like, and we've we've got them coming and we're drilling them, and uh, you know we're really able to show that we can find these these deposits. You know, and you know, Kerry, we, we've just done all this work here at Julia's. We've shown before what's there, and 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 we've just put a heap of drilling. In, you know, sixteen thousand meters of air core has just been finished. Another six thousand meters of RC to come. All these results are just about to come out. You know, we're we're they're in the lab. They're, they're getting processed. They're coming through, and you know that news flow is going to hit the market. And you mentioned before, you know, twenty nine million dollars, four hundred forty nine thousand ounces already. Um, but there's more to come. We're we're working on these new deposits that are just going to add to that four hundred forty nine thousand ounces over time. So so really, the you know the next you know six nine twelve months is going to be hugely exciting for Gateway for sure. Well, in very good hands with you, Mark Cossum, because you understand the geology and you're getting out there and using shareholder funds to good uh, use, which is putting the drill bit into the ground, finding new discoveries, ladies and gentlemen. As I said right at the start, this is a district, not just one project. There's going to be an exciting time for gateways, so uh, do your own research, but go and check them out, ASX Cody's GML. Mark, come back when those results come out and give us an update. Thanks, Terry. Will do. Don't worry. All righty. Thanks for joining me on Small Caps today. Thank you. Thank you.